let's see how easy it is to validate a SaaS idea. So here's the problem. You already got a great idea for a SaaS. You know it's definitely something you would use yourself and you already have a pretty good idea about how you would build it. You're excited and you want to get started, but then you remember something. This is where most first-time founders go wrong. Either they skip this part entirely and just start building, or they get discouraged because what the hell does validate even mean? And I get it, it's confusing, and it highly depends on your specific case. But bottom line is, we want to see if users are actually interested in the SaaS we're gonna build. And this is 2023, so we have some extremely cool tools at our disposal. In this video, I'll show you how to validate your SaaS idea in three simple steps using no code and AI. Let's get started. A few months ago, I published a video with seven AI SaaS ideas, and one of them was the idea of an interactive prompt designer for tools like ChatGPT and GPT-3. Let's test if this idea is worth building. Step one, creating a landing page with a sign-up form. Here's the idea. We're gonna create a landing page to showcase the tool. It should look like we're almost done building it and that it's about to go live soon. So let's search for some free UI templates for Figma. It doesn't need to be too accurate, just something for us to get started with. This is perfect. Now let's alter this and make a UI that looks like a prompt builder. Something with drag and drop and some different prompt blocks that we can piece together. Let's add a logo and a name for the tool as well. And you can go into as much detail here as you want. I suggest keeping it simple. We're not building the UI for the actual product here. We just need something to illustrate the idea. Awesome. Now let's go to Framer and build a simple landing page for this tool. We want to use the UI mockup we just created for the hero section. Ah. Perfect. This looks great. Now, we need some copy. Let's fire up ChatGPT and jam a bit on some good website copy. There we go. We want to make sure the visitor gets a good idea about what this tool can do. Awesome. This looks super cool. We're also gonna add a navigation menu and we're gonna have two items saying sign up and pricing. Both will lead to the same page. So here's the idea. When the user navigates to this page, they'll be presented with this message. We're gonna tell them that this tool is launching soon and that they had the chance to join early at a discounted offer. And I know what you're thinking. How does them putting their email here count as validation? Well, there are no guarantees, but you would be surprised how difficult it actually is to get people to sign up for something like this. If we can get people to put their emails here, it's definitely a sign that there's some interest in our idea. But how do we even get these people on the website? Hold on, we'll get back to that in a moment. First, let's build our sign up form. We're gonna use a tool called FormSpark to collect the emails. It's free for the first 250 submissions. And everything considered, if we can get 250 people to sign up as a part of this experiment, I'd say we're tracking pretty well. This is not a lead magnet, we're just checking if there's some interest. Building a form with FormSpark is super easy to do in Framer. We just need to add the form ID here. There we go. Okay, now that we have a solid marketing website ready for our SaaS, let's go on to step two. Creating some thumb-stopping ad creatives. That's right. In order to get visitors to our website, we're gonna run ads on Facebook for about a week, maybe 10 days. Again, this is not about launching and scaling a long-term ad campaign. So if you're new to this, don't worry too much about all the specifics here. We're gonna keep it super simple. Let's head over to Tiny Kiwi and put some ad creatives together. We need three formats. The first one is a Facebook ad. Let's take the image from Figma and put together a nice looking creative. Awesome. Then let's take this and adjust it to the format of Instagram ad. And finally, we'll make one for the Instagram story format. There we go. With these three formats, we can use the most common placements on both Facebook and Instagram. 
these two platforms together are huge. If you think your target audience isn't on Facebook, think again. You can find literally any group of people on these platforms and we only need a small group for this experiment. Let's head over to Facebook's ad manager. If you don't have an account already, you'll need to set one up. Facebook's ad manager can seem a little confusing at first. There are a bunch of different campaign objectives we can choose from and in most cases we want to go for leads or sales, but because this is a rather time limited campaign, we'll simply optimize for traffic. Let's give this campaign a name and start configuring the ad set. We want to optimize for landing page views. We'll set the daily budget to around 10 to $12. Under audience, we'll pick a country. I suggest simply picking United States. There are more than enough people here to target. Under detailed targeting, we can narrow a few interests. For these, we'll put artificial intelligence and then hit suggestions to get a few more. Let's add technology and smart technology as well. Awesome. And based on this, we can get up to 200 page visits per day. Finally, let's set up the actual ad. You'll need a Facebook page and an Instagram account. This will be the account that the ads are shown under. You can create a new page specifically for this experiment so the page name matches the website content. Or if you have a company name already, you can use that as well. For this experiment, I'm simply gonna use my personal page. Awesome. Let's upload the images from before. And as you can see, we need to fit these three formats here. So let's replace these to match the other images we created. There we go. <laughs> Looks awesome. And we need some copy for the ads. Let's get back to ChatGPT. Nice. Let's adjust this slightly. There we go. And if we open this, we can see how these ads will look across a bunch of different platforms and devices. Let's add the website, hit publish. Now we're gonna wait a few hours for Facebook to approve these ads and they'll start running. And this is basically it. Before you start an experiment like this, it's a great idea to decide some winning criteria in advance. How many signups do you need in order to consider this idea validated? And how long are you willing to let the campaign run? For example, let's say that we're able to get 100 page views on average per day, and we're letting this campaign run for a week. That's 700 page views. I would like to see a three to 5% sign up rate. So we would need some 20, 30 emails after finishing this experiment. If we get more than 50, it's definitely an idea worth looking into. If we get less than 10, there's probably something holding people back. And that could be an indication that this idea just isn't that interesting. But remember, there are a lot of factors at play here. So other things can obviously influence performance. I've used this technique a number of times and most often I run two to three campaigns using different targeting and ad creatives just to cover a few more angles. All right, I'm gonna let this run for a week. Let's see how this experiment turns out. All right, here we are. Our ad campaign has been running for one week it's time to see how many email signups we got. If you're still watching, please pause the video here, go to the comments and drop your guess. How many signups do you think we got? Let's take a look. And we got 11 signups. Well, it's a good thing I didn't get ahead of myself and started building this thing while I was waiting. 11 emails is definitely on the lower end of what I would consider a successful validation. But again, if I wanted to be extra sure, I would probably try tweaking the landing page, the ad creatives and the targeting a bit and run a few more rounds just to see. In this case though, yeah, I think the world might not be ready for this kind of AI prompt designer right now. So um, I'm gonna go on and do something else. But this whole thing took me a few hours to set up and I would much rather spend a few hours and a hundred dollars testing an idea than four months and thousands of dollars building something no one wants. And that's exactly why we care about validating an idea. It's important to point out that we cannot ever be certain of anything. There are no guarantees. Just because I only got 11 signups on this round doesn't necessarily mean that the idea is completely useless. And if I had gotten 300 signups on this round, it's still no guarantee that this would ever work as a SaaS business. 
So validating a SaaS idea like this is about signals and indicators. It's not about trying to prove anything. And of course, the more tests, the more experiments we run, the more indicators we can collect. And it helps us become a little bit more certain every time. If you saw this ad on Facebook while it was running, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. Did you sign up? And if not, why didn't you? Please, if you saw this, comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, check out this video where I cover five micro SaaS ideas that you can build in 2023 and perhaps consider running this experiment on one of them. If you got value from this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I will see you soon for another video.